Oh. He was on vacation for one week. Learn who gets out of class. I lost all my musical ability. Let me show you how to sound. And we're back. <laughs> How we doing? How we doing? With Beautiful people episode, of YouTube. Episode eight of the Sneezy Show. If you haven't noticed, eight? we have a new eight? guest. Yes, episode eight. Eight? Eight is great. And we Holy have shit. a new guest for this special eighth episode. You might have seen him in, in our band, in our <laughs> band, or in other bands such as Totally Cashed. He's also a master record producer and audio engineer. Let's clap it up for clap the it famous up. Austin clap it up. Lutter. Clap it up. Let's go. Let's go. Clap Let's it go. up. Because I go. can't clap, <laughs> as evidenced by me trying. Show, to clap here, so. give, give us a clap. Give us a clap. All right, redemption. Where you got? Oh, oh, okay. That's some meat in that. That was low. That All was right. nice. All right. How'd you like that nice. intro? Intro was great. I love the new intro music. Oh, Cheers, boys. You. We're drinking tea because it's 6.30. And Austin just got back from London. London. We are all London. born tea. where they drink tea and talk with their teeth like Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> it's half past midnight in <laughs> London right now. You didn't get a good accent from being in London. <laughs> No, you need to um, you need to work on it. Yeah, if so, anything, um, I learned all the words wrong. How so? Like I tried to learn all the colloquialisms, but I can't do the accent. So, uh, how do you say aluminium? <laughs> aluminium, just like that. <laughs> what the hell is an aluminium? It's, it's aluminum. aluminum. Oh. I'm the baby say. What in the hell is an aluminium? <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell is Earl Grey? Earl Grey. <laughs> so you went to Abbey Road. I saw that picture. Yeah. Tell Abbey us all about it. Yeah. So you touched down. What? How are you feeling? Like you get in London? Are you? So it took you... us like an extra day to get there. First mm. of all, because the blizzard Ooh. in Chicago happened the day that we left. Um, so we missed our connection flight in Munich. It wasn't blizzard. It was enough Munich, to was delay it? air traffic, and that's what happened to me. True. So no, no, no. no. Not we were, a blizzard. We just, were stuck at O'Hare, but only for like four or five extra hours. Um, and then we flew to Munich first, which means we missed our connecting flight. But. I did see a Snapchat of you playing GTA on your phone at uh, Starbucks. At oh, wait. Starbucks. <laughs> At Starbucks? <laughs> I was talking into about a teacup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he did on our whole flight to Louisiana. Yeah, back. that's a, that's, so, that's a life hack right there. Yeah, you can connect a controller to your iOS device and just play whatever game with the controller. And that's... Xbox controller, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, resident nerd in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately talking about video games. No, but get this. <laughs> So, unbeknownst to me, I thought we were going to do the whole eight and a half hour flight um, just like in the regular part of the plane with regular people. Yeah. But Lily's mom surprised me with first class ticket. Oh! And I've never flown first class before. So, like, wow. I mean, I'm used to sleeping on the floor in the van. Right. So, like, <laughs> that's like my standard of living. So, when you have a chair that converts into a bed, Wow. Damn. That and was first like, class for a long First after. class. For, it was like eight and a half hours on the oh, way there because you're going with the wind. It was like nine and a half hours on the way back, both first class, both times. The second time around, I knew what I was getting both into. So <laughs> I was just class. fucking like the whole time, just like six or seven beers, you know, playing, <laughs> playing my games yeah. on my phone. <laughs> yes. Um, Wow. Just living like a king. Like, they bring you as many rolls as you want. Rolls? Rolls? With butter? Oh, yeah. my God. So this you, man you, loves you rolls. Just, <laughs> but so it's a German airline, right? So they had little fucking pretzels. Ooh, Ooh this man loves pretzels. Favorite. Yeah, so oh. beer, pretzels. This is a good, good time. That sounds like that. That's just the flight. Already. Yeah, <laughs> damn. This isn't even the actual place we were going to. This is just the well, flight. Yeah, it already good. It seems like you could just turn around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're 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 rolled up, you're boozed up, rolling. You you you're pretzled up. You you're stealing you get cars on to uh, you get to London. Yeah. What's what do you do? London. What's are you guys? So immediately the first thing that I'm tasked with is figuring out how to get around on the subway because subways and it's just you European, your girlfriend and your girlfriend's well, mom. don't they yeah. call it 
Just the, the three tube. of you. The, the tube. tube. The wow. tube. I know that from television. So, <laughs> so you're the man of this trip. Yeah, and <laughs> I enjoy that kind of stuff, like okay. figuring out where I am on a map. So that was really, really fun to kind of like lead – what was the around. most stressful part? Was there any point where the where the girls looked at, at each other and like, oh boy, this stressful is... from travel? Just yeah. I mean, definitely like. So we missed our connection flight in Germany to get to the UK on the Ooh. way out there. So we were flying out the next morning on the first flight, and it's an airport in Germany, so we don't know what to expect. So we show up super early at like five a.m. and like nobody's there to work at the airport. At 5 a.m. on Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, like, we get through, like, the initial security, but there's no, like, Border Patrol or anybody to, like, get us through to where we need to be. Mm -hmm. um, and we have those first-class tickets, which means you have the first-class lounge, <laughs> which the first-class lounge, by the way, at O'Hare was amazing. Like, yeah. holy crap. Just, like, gourmet food on the buffet. But not so much in London? Want. Not so much in Germany? Oh. The German one uh, was pretty decent, but I mean, sorry, I have a slurping problem. <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I will say that I can ingest any hot liquids uh, with finesse because I like. Did you call that finesse? <laughs> I mean, watch this. I can take as much as I want, and you guys, it would be too hot. Everybody in the room is aware of how much you took and how much you didn't take, because the noise you're making. <laughs> That's true. Okay, here's a big slurp. Ready? Sound like a bong. Yeah. <laughs> but I've mastered, and you know. And then you go, Afterwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's part of the technique. I used to date... I used to date a girl from my ex, 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 way back in the day, and I didn't realize this until Poe told me this, and it was every single bite that me and her would have, we'd go, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, every single bite. It'd be like, mmm, mmm, mmm. And, like, he would just be sitting there and be like, do you guys realize that you do this every single time? And um, it took me a couple weeks to, to get away from that. So slurping, you know. <laughs> It's it's uh, I'll work on it. All right, it's all right. You've been working on a breaking a few habits. You got a new one this week. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did that one. He's on slurping so loud he can't even hear what you're saying. I'm sorry, I'm slurping over here. Um. All right. Well, back to my trip. Anyway, uh, the subway super confusing, but really efficient. You can pretty much get to anywhere. Um. Honestly, the main thing that I noticed was the food was like real. It was real, real, with real ingredients. I didn't know that there's a lot of like illegal ingredients in American food. And then you go to like Subway in Europe and you're like, this like is actual bread <laughs> or like, yeah, pretty going much to Subway. Subway. <laughs> yeah. well, we did go to Subway. I hate how we feel healthy going to Subway. Subway can be no, healthy. I... Mm, you fell for it. I think I can speak to this a little Show those abs. Than you. Show those abs, baby. No. Okay. I'm not your little hoochie mama. Right, well. <laughs> it's a podcast. You have to subscribe to yeah. my Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Or our Patreon. And I, I'm down to show some ab on our Patreon. Hold on. You keep telling about it. Jack and I are going to do some push-ups. <laughs> oh, you got your uh, uh, Mexican okay. maternity pants on? He's wearing those on the last pod. I watched that pod today. That's... <laughs> That's two pods ago, man. You're one. Two behind. pods. I'm one pod behind. Yeah, it's all sure. right. It's all right. That was. Oh, I put these this on thinking no one would remember, and you brought it right. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I wear the same pants every day, basically. So oh, you're good. Good pants, pants. Pants only need to be washed. I'd say once a month. Ew. Once a month. Once a month. I would say not once underwear. A week. Not underwear. Pants. Unless you're sweating in them. If I wear the pants every <laughs> single day. Me, yeah, I sweat a yeah, lot. Yeah, you sweat a lot. Yeah, I mean, you're constantly sweaty. Oh, yeah. Like, not even just on stage. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a little sweaty right now, actually, just drinking this tea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And these lights, because it's a nighttime pod. Oh, yeah. True, true. So what else, man? So sights, sights you saw. What'd you see? Oh, Buckingham Palace. Ooh. Which was okay. regal as shit. You can't actually go into Is that where the queen lives? I don't or know, lived? actually, dude. I was going to ask. I, just, I don't know. I don't know really, honestly, anything about that stuff. I know you it blew up in a bunch of movies. 
I think true. Queens used to live there. Then they got bored. They're like, mm, my, they matters. have like many places this that they can go is to. Too low for me. Yeah, I don't know. We did word. go to um, this place called Hampton Court Palace, which is where King Henry the Eighth resided. Oh, he was that the, guy, the fat king who loved food. So most of this place was actually just kitchens. Isn't he the one that cool. like oh. yeah. started uh, religion Relatable. so he could get divorced? Or is that a different? One? No. So what he did was like, I, know what you're doing. Uh, I believe back then you couldn't like remarry if you got divorced. Unless the reason why you're divorced is because like the she person died. died or whatever, so he just behead his. Wives. Oh shit! Yeah. And he just like, oh. <laughs> you can't give me an heir, so you're done. It's like Game of Thrones, and it was yeah. like legal to kill them, right? He's the king, man. Well, yeah, yeah, he, he's the king. Wow. Can do whatever he wants. Um, More king than Elvis. I think he only killed a couple of wives, and some of them died from like natural, natural. <laughs> Got causes. beheaded by natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> but I also learned um, because you know we did like all the history and stuff. I learned the origin of the term hangover. Literally, would mean like they would do a hanging at night. And then everybody would get drunk because it's such a fucking like, no crazy way. event back yeah, then really. in the 1600s. They'd hang people in the street, and then everybody It'd be a would big get party. Yeah, they, everybody would get drunk because they got to forget what they just fucking saw. <laughs> <laughs> and then they would wake up the next day, you know, after the hanging, and be the hangover. Wow, I think they liked it. I think back then people loved violence. Well, it was a spectacle. Not there even back m- then, dude. That's yeah, why we got MMA days fights too. Yeah. Um, Mm. Speaking of which, ah, no, don't speaking of which, up. we went to Koza's uh, jujitsu fight. Did you guys all go to that? We did. They I, made signs. It was the morning after the gig. Yeah, yeah we were crazy. running on like two hours of sleep. <laughs> and I roll in and I'm like, oh, it's really early. quiet. I, I got more than two. I'm a, yeah, you, I'm you went home earlier. You're right. I'm smart. But uh, we rolled in and uh, Koz was rolling around. Yeah. And you, you should have won that fight. Let's be honest. You should have won. I don't started. know what happened, but you should have won. It went to double overtime, and not like you should have won. I'm saying like, ah, oh, come on, you should have won. You know, to the the refs. If I, I don't know. Won, I don't know anything about the game, I but would have won. But it looked like he was gonna win. So is this like actual wrestling or is it like <laughs> MMA? This is real wrestling. No, There's is no it like wrestling in a singlet with the the ear no. things, this or is, is it like MMA? No gi jujitsu. So it's jujitsu without the kimono, basically. Yeah, they all get to wear their own. What swag. do you wear? Uh, Just like sports. Typically, shorts? it was called a rash guard, um, yeah, which is rash guard. <laughs> I'm imagining. Oh, I need a one of those. Modern day loincloth. Yeah. <laughs> Just like um, a thing that <laughs> <laughs> hangs over you. It doesn't do much else. It just hangs there. It's uh. <laughs> it was that. <laughs> it's a like, rash guard. Uh, Under Armour that you wear as a base layer for snowboarding. Like full body, like your no, and snake. shorts. So rash guard on top, athletic mm-hmm. shorts down below. Um, Word. Yeah, lo- uh, <laughs> went to double overtime. Got, s- I submitted him in the the first part of the double overtime. Hey. <laughs> but he got me faster uh, in double overtime. So. It was a good fight, but it was single elimination, and then he went on to smoke everyone else and took first place. So, oh it was, it was yeah, rough. if you lose to the winner, this, this yeah, fun. yeah, it's all good. It was it was a rough blow. Is it the, the kind of match where like at the end they total up the points, or did was it like a technical? It was submission only. Okay, so you had to tap, fight to the death, pretty much. Yeah, fight to the tap. My <laughs> my. <laughs> My elbow popped for sure, and I'm still yeah. recovering. But it's all good. <laughs> oh, I heard it, and I was like, "Tap, tap, tap." <laughs> hey, Let by us- the way, I was gonna ask you: Were my like, were my comments good? Like, I didn't know what to say. Like during, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, roll him. Oh, are get, you yelling get him out? Oh, during this screaming. Too? I was the only one, and I'm like, of course you were, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a clip of Brett going, "Get him, get him." <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Come on. It's like he's egging on a dog. <laughs> was, yeah. I didn't know what to do. My first fight ever. It Everyone was, was quiet and like it was quiet because like, there this was is my so- boy out there on the mat. All right, yep. let's set the stage. It's like eight a.m. on the first day of the year. 
right? Yeah, it was it was <laughs> After 11 a.m. guys, okay, 11 a.m. And it's Felt in like this six, like though. sketchy building, yeah, like it's, it's hard to find. It's hard to find. We roll in immediately. The aroma of men rolling around. Yeah, hits Those, your nostrils. They'll never get the stink out of the mats. Yeah, Mm-mm. yeah. And um, yeah, it was. Everyone's like sitting on a, on a on a mat, and we we're like, we we're. The fans were on the mat too. It was like we were right there, you up know? against the wall. It wow. was, yeah, it was like I'm imagining was like, like not, a middle school gymnasium yes. that's like doesn't have a high enough ceiling for basketball, so that's why it's the, <laughs> the like low wrestling ceiling. Room. Not necessarily a gymnasium, but there's like mats in this L shape. So if you imagine the width of the couch going all the way that way, and then past there, and then down to the left, there are a bunch mm. of mats. Anyways. There are um, not fans there, really. I mean, there was a couple, like, wives and stuff there, but it was like, nobody, no them friends like came. You. Yeah, <laughs> we roll in, and then... Yeah, they made then, me signs, and I freaking yeah, lost. Yeah, Jack, Jack and Jill roll in, and they have these these broke-ass signs that says <laughs> Coz on them. And, and then we put them in backwards. the corner, and we're like, Cozy Corner! We're in a Cozy Corner! Your faces are painted, and he loses in the first yeah. round. <laughs> I was we, so ashamed. Yeah. So do you, it's like, okay. hang so out for the rest of the tournament out of respect? Is it, like, playing a gig where you're the first band and yeah. you have to wait for the headliner to be done? Yeah, and it, it was – so they called it Cockroach Wars because it was all white belts uh, in two divisions facing mm-hmm. off. And it was just to set up for a beginning of the year talk to how a few things are going to change in the gym and, like, looking forward for the rest of the year. So we, they, people brought food um, and – we ate and talked after for like an hour. It's a boys club. That's what I realized. Yeah. Jiu-jitsu is a boys club. There were chicks. They just didn't compete. Yeah, but like the energy was just like, you know. A hundred percent. All the jokes and stuff were like, <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're men. men. It's it good. Is, it made me want to do it. I want to do it. It's nice to, yeah, just be surrounded by a bunch of killers. Yeah. And, and like-minded people, man. He kept using <laughs> this interested. term though, like that guy over there, killer, dude. Yeah, that my boy over here, killer. Yeah. Like, this guy, killer. And I'm thinking, like, do these guys actually kill people, or like, is that just a term of endearment? Greg might have killed a few people, but I don't think he wants. No one knows who Greg is, so we're good. <laughs> this man has his hands and his feet licensed as legal weapons. Killer. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, that was. It, it sucked, but the so, New Year's show was great. Yeah, New Year's show, New Year's was, show was, was fucking awesome. I was not there. Awesome. Tell me all about it. I saw clips of Jackson absolutely oh my God. shredding, shredding, amazing faces, shredding. Yeah. I mean, I learned a thing or two just from like the thirty-five seconds that I saw of him. On Dude, the clip. it was really fun. Shout out to Jackson Stokes. He I think I got sick it. before from him, and then I was fatigued by the third set. Dude, <laughs> I told you this, but I was looking over. No, we only did two sets, right? Yeah, we only did two sets. But I would look over, and like I didn't see you, and then I just looked, and you're kneeling down like this, just like <laughs> trying to like casually yeah. sing or just swing a tambourine. Yeah, catch like, my <laughs> breath. Do yeah. anything. Like, what are you? Like, you have parts. Like, you need. <laughs> I, was like, I looked at Jack once. And it was like it was like twelve. We're playing till one, and it was like twelve twenty. And Jack looks at me. He's like, "We're done, right?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, no, dude." Like, oh man, yeah, I you know were that feeling. Fatigued, us, yeah. For sure. That's okay. We, I'm finally getting over being sick though. <clears throat> yeah, that sucks. Because normally you're the one who's like constantly jumping around. And yeah. I'm he was still jumping Jack around. Winded from not moving. That man was still jumping around. Oh yeah, it was just I was taking knees in between my jumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was good though. It was a ton of fun. Um, a lot of it was packed house. Yeah, nice. we had a faces, cool countdown. Faces, we did just like an impromptu cool. jam, and then went into it. Oh, shout out to Marissa Blake for winning. Oh, Marisa. Yeah. Marisa, Marisa, for winning a sneezy rope. Yes, congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations! Thanks to everyone who entered the competition. If uh, you still want one, you can send us a DM. We'll ship them out to you, or you can grab it at a show. So hit us up. And I got to say something. I know people have been DMing me and they're like, I want a rope. And then I tell them it's 150 bucks and then they stop responding. And I I understand. I get it. But y'all need to get your hands on these ropes to feel like what we're not jipping anyone off. These ropes are fucking amazing yeah, quality. Um, the people that have bought them, maybe we'll do like a 
Like we'll ask everyone to be like, is this? Yeah. And also, we'll offer a money back guarantee. Like, there's no way you're putting this on your naked body and taking it off and saying, I don't want this. Yeah. A hundred percent. You got to feel it to believe it. And, dude, you spend 150 bucks on a tank of gas and a night out. Like, 150 bucks goes so quick. It's true. It's like. Take this robe is gonna night out. take a gas in a <laughs> night out. Just... Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Driving seventy bucks in gas, seventy bucks in the bar. Gas <laughs> is expensive. Um, no, fifty bucks a gas. A hundred. You go f- dinner and two. Nah, I'm drinks. on his team. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. If no. you go out, you got to go out. Shit yeah. is expensive right now. For food. Yeah. As, I mean, in yeah. Chicago too, shit yeah. costs way more. But anyways, that's why we got to go to Milwaukee. That's what I'm saying. Been going out in Milwaukee lately, wow. and you've been going out everywhere, dude. You're like, I just just found out of the best cocktail bar. In we Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, we. Talk- oh my God, sue me! I'm having a good time finding <laughs> a cocktail it, bar. She said it like three Jeez. times in a week. Yeah, You're because like- I found three amazing cocktail bars. <laughs> Damn. And we talked about this like two episodes ago. You're like, I'm making a cocktail. <laughs> You're like, how do you make? I was <laughs> sour. All I was saying is Milwaukee. <laughs> that's not what I was about to say, but yes. That's a that's good shake, uh, uh, yeah. Form. Do it again. <laughs> shake, 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 cool. senora. Shake, shake it all the time. time. Shake, <laughs> shake, shake, senora. Um, I don't even know how to do it. Did I t- wait? Did I tell you about the cocktail bar in Milwaukee? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That's I don't know if I. The best I place. said it. Tell that. All right, all right. I'll tell you. It's called Bryant. Oh, shit. Should I not even say Because it's kind of a secret. It's Are you going to blow it up no, with our yeah, huge audience? No, we'll tell them. We'll tell them. <laughs> All right. Seriously, if anyone listening to this goes to this, like, DM us. Because it is fucking amazing. It is a... It's in the we'll suburbs. Like, yeah, it is amazing. It's in the suburbs of Milwaukee. <laughs> and it's... Uh, you walk in, and it's dimly lit. Of course. Okay, yeah. So you don't Stand- have to hear each other. <laughs> they don't have a menu. <laughs> They oh, don't so have a I menu. I can see why you love this place. Hold on. <laughs> so you don't know what you're getting. <laughs> it's a conversational order. No, every time I've gone out to eat with you, dude, you look at the menu for a solid like five minutes, and it doesn't matter because you're still going to ask the person. It's true. This is why that's an amazing opinion. place. Yeah. yeah. What do you recommend? So, leave that dog alone, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to leave me alone first, and then I'll leave him alone. Watch. See? You just... He likes He's it. like, do it again. Okay, what did you get at this fancy yeah. cocktail bar in the suburbs of Milwaukee? <laughs> you just ask, a, you just, they have a conversation with you and they make you a cocktail. And they're, it's. Is it based oh. off your conversation? You know what? You need, I'm going to take y'all there. It's really cool. I can take you there. <laughs> what do they put in their whiskey sours, Brett? I don't know. It's all. <laughs> it's all fucking. Got him. <laughs> I only, I only know that's oh. relevant because I just watched that podcast Callback. this morning. Yeah. Oh, a real whiskey sour? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I already talked about it, I guess. <laughs> Egg whites. Maybe, maybe about a week or two ago. I don't know when you filmed that. Still doesn't pod. know. Yeah, yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, it's a really cool place. But uh, where did you go this week, Austin? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. Where'd you go? What'd you do? <laughs> Where did I go? What was the, what's you the most fun place? Yeah, give Milwaukee us some hot spots. Oh, Milwaukee. I found this one place that doesn't have food on the menu, and they just <laughs> or give you soup. <laughs> a soup only. Everybody has a soup everybody. only restaurant. You want some soup? Um, Actually, kind of sounds. Pretty I went cool. to a bookstore. I got a collection of Rolling Stones interviews. I got a Rumi book, and I got. An encyclopedia on musical terms. So when oh, I, I saw that. feel dumb, we could look up a new concept. What's this? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you has know to this do one. with stopping for a long time. What does it look like? A C. The railroad track. Oh, yeah, the railroad oh, tracks. The railroad wow. Yeah, yeah. Sejura. <laughs> Sejura. Uh, we learned that Vav. Vav- Vance. 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 I don't means know. it's a tempo it's a f- yeah, and it's fast. not. No, no, it's not fast. It's no? lively. It's lively. But, okay. So. And then presto is very fast and then press DC mode. I need that shit presto, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Vivance, you would probably say what? 110 to 125? No idea. Okay. Lively. 
something whatever that means. 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 Whatever that the BPMs of 120 to 140 is inherently an activating amount of beats per minute. Like wow. it makes everyone, to, no matter how big your heart is <laughs> or how little, everyone wants to get up and move and dance. That's wow. really cool. Very cool. Even mice, huh? Yeah. Even mice. <laughs> Do they test on other kind of animals or do they just use mice because they're de- the default? Test? They're scientists. They got a lot of mice. I don't know. <laughs> they only have mice. They don't have, they're not testing it on giraffes. We're going to have to look it up on elephants. NPR because I don't that know. That would be everything. cool. A, mi- uh, a mouse rave? Mouse rave. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That'd be a sick music video and very low budget, easy to Stuart film. Little. Hit up the scientists. <laughs> you just get a bucket and you fill it with mice. Stuart Little goes to the it. rave. Play, uh, yeah, you shoot it in slow mo on your iPhone. I got an ad for a product that turns any five gallon bucket into a humane mousetrap today. Wow, <laughs> I don't There's know. An ad for that? It's, it's just a, a hillbilly way just, to capture a mouse. It's a lid, so it's a little ramp that leads to the top of the bucket, and it's a lid with a little like trap door in it. So you gotcha. lure them into the trap door, and they gotcha. just fall in the bucket. So when you're for done, leprechauns too. When you're done catching mice, <laughs> oh, you can just use it as a leprechaun traps. Trap. Yeah. Remember that back in the day? Leprechaun traps? Yeah. Hey, Blue, shut up. <laughs> yeah, we got him a horn, and um, I think I regret it because it's loud as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he does this once a podcast. He's like, yeah. all right, if you're not going to pet me, I'll just make noise. Um, anyways, why don't... What do you guys want to talk about? Want to talk about how we, we write music? Or how you got in the band? What's more interesting? Got in the band. Yeah, I mean, I'm here. Um, the way we write music can't... is pretty quick, in my opinion. 